What's up, everybody? I'm Terry. I'm Misty. And we're the Trash Pandas. Welcome to our channel. So we couldn't record because the dumpster was full, but these are all brand new. It's still sealed. Then we found some pallets. And then we gotta figure out how to take these out. But other than that, we found brand new products in the box. Never been opened. So we're excited about that. It's our first haul at Ulta. That we actually got something good. That cool. It is 50 pounds. Oh, that's kitty food. Yeah. And then we found kitty food. At Petco. We Little found more, go. but I'm not dragging this in the house. So we'll show you guys the rest right now. Where'd the box go? Okay, we also found two of these hoses at Bed Bath & Beyond. So, and we'll show you the rest right now. So... I'm going to show you guys all the stuff that we found at Bed Bath & Beyond and Pier 1 last night and some of Petco. Um, we found these Sheik's um, queen size bed set. They retail for $179 and they're not cut, they're not spray painted, nothing. They're in perfect condition. At Pier 1 we found this mermaid. Um, I don't even know what this is. It's just a board, a sequin board. So, but yeah. And then at Bed Bath and Beyond, we found this broom. It they did spray paint it, but I mean it's already red, so it's not gonna matter. We also found those sheets. They did spray paint those. At Pier One, we found this little center piece. It's falling apart. Oh no, I think they slashed it, but it's still usable. It's not like anybody's going to see the bottom. At Petco, we found these little headbands. Um, Bed Bath & Beyond, we found this wall um, shaver. We also found this Brooklyn... Um, Jackson pleat bed set. It has the two shams and then that is the comforter there. I just washed it. We also found two my pillows, which they did spray paint a corner of one of them, but other than that, the other one's fine. At Pier 1, oh, I'm about to break that bunny. We found this cute little sequin pillow. We tossed it. Turns into a little chick in an egg. The zipper is broken, so but you can just sew it right up. That one retailed for $34.95. Um, we found these View Keurig um, coffees. Stroop wafers. They're not expired or anything. Let's see. Yeah, they're not expired yet. So, not sure why they tossed them. At Pier 1, we found this. We found these two little napkin holders. They retail for $4.95. There is damage on each side. But, I mean, if you're using them and you put them like this, who's going to know? We found these bunnies, and I only brought them because my son is obsessed with bunnies. Um, so I'm going to fix him and get him looking new, hopefully, if I can, paint him up a little bit. So, And then, this was a back massager. I didn't realize that it had broke. I saw the stick in the dumpster when I was digging, but I didn't realize it was for that. At Pier 1, we found this cute little clock. Just needs a battery. Ugh, excuse me for sniffling, guys. I'm sick. Found these little wine um, decor. So, they're cute. Only one of them is broken. The piece is down here to the one up here at the top. Um... We found this belt. 
It's the, what is it called? The Go Belt. It's the ones that you wear when you're working out, you're running or something. These are both zipper pouches. It's like a mini fanny pack. And then we found this at Pier 1. It does need the glass put back in it, but it was one of those his and hers where you put the man um, bottle caps here from his beer and then the woman's um, wine corks. And then this was part of a chandelier, but the chandelier was really shattered, so I just stole all the gems off of it. Because these can be reused. There's nothing wrong with them. There's a whole bag of them. Alright. And then we found three of these flawless shavers. They do work. They do need to be sanitized. At least these ones that are out of the box. Does not want to focus. But, yeah. Found three of those. And then found this thing. A shaver. Micro touch shaver. Found an OXO lint. We did spray paint this one. But it is a lint brush to get all the hair and lint off of you. Oster coffee maker. Sleep stylers. An automatic. Um, soap dispenser and a regular bathroom soap dispenser. A rechargeable um, foot scrubber. Definitely need to buy a new head for that because I don't know if that was used. And then we got a mini diffuser and then it came with um, orange essential oil. Yes, baby. We found this. There's nothing wrong with it from Pier One. And we found the Vornado. We found two of these thermo cups. They did spray paint them. The other one is here. A bunch of salt grinders. They were brand new. The box was sealed and everything. And they come with just a wood. Oh, a little bit of salt in them. So I'm not sure why they even toss those. Um, we found Copper Chef knife set. Just one of it. And here is the other. Both of them were still in the box. Um, this one was at Petco. It's a no-spill bowl. It was still wrapped in this package, but it ripped when we were trying to pull it out. And then there was a, well, there's a small collar. It's dirty. It needs to be washed. A Starbucks milk frother, hot and cold milk frother. A Caps, Capspresso, Capspresso. Um, the other part to that is here. <laughs> and we found two of these shower curtains they were sealed in the box still not sure why they threw them away but they retail for 30 bucks so and it works out perfect because my sister's bathroom is Paris so we found this copper chef skillet and a Gibson skillet ceramic and then a um, shower curtain and a milk jug. Watch your finger. Yeah. So I think that's it. Yeah. That was all of it. That's what we found. It was a lot. Okay. Alright. We will um, get better at recording whenever we go <laughs> diving. We have a problem with getting excited when we see something and forgetting to record it. So we will get better at that, guys. A lot better. My sister did get a small uh -huh. segment of the dumpster diving we did yesterday. And then we'll just post it in this video. Oh, and then these here we got at Ulta. There's four of them. I don't know what I'm going to use them for. 
personally think they can hold paper, books, whatever. They look like separators. Yeah, kid books. So, they have enough. <laughs> so, yeah. We'll post another video here soon, guys. Alright. Have a great day. Bye. Alright, so I'm going to give you a rundown of what we found. Um, we found these at a vitamin shop. I would always check there, just in case. I mean, sometimes this stuff's expired, sometimes it's not. Um, and even if it is, that's typically shelf life, and you still have about two weeks to use it after that. That's what I was told. You can do your own research, but I'm one of those who is fine with it being expired up to two weeks. So, I'll show you the rest right now. Okay, and here's all the pet stuff that we've recently found. Um, these are a mix of a couple pet stores. Um, this, they did cut this one, this one, um, that one. They cut a small hole. That one they also did, small hole. They cut that one pretty good. And then this one they didn't cut at all. So, it's a hit and miss on the food, guys. We do have, I think it was four other bags of dog food. I'll have to just post a picture of them because we had already given them away. But I'll include a picture in the video of which ones it was that we got. And none of those were cut open already. So they were all sealed and everything. But we already gave them away to family members who have small breed dogs. Because that's pretty much what they were, was small breed. But yeah, this is what we recently found. This one does say it is expired. But it is not until the, I think it was the 30th of March. So... None of these were expired either. They just tossed them, maybe too much or something. I'm not sure. But yeah, that is what we found for pets, guys. Okay, so this is all party store finds. So. <laughs> that was one store. Um, all of those plates and napkins, they all came from one um, location. Location, and then everything else is a mix of different locations. We don't have thing two or thing one, so. Yeah, we only got a thing two. A yo-yo. Really? Yeah. And there's necklaces, hats. What happened to that? Just the lens is missing. Look, oh. But they still got tags and everything. Got little dice on them. <laughs> you can pop out the other lens. And those ones still have the tag, but they're perfectly fine. Seven bucks. So, this one's happy day, apparently. <laughs> it doesn't have St. Patrick's, so we can fix that up a little bit for decor. Uh, three of these. Oops. Your favorite. <laughs> yes, this is my favorite. The little night. I want to take it out. Too big or too small for my head. <laughs> Put it on. <laughs> and not only Put it on. It's in front of my eyes. <laughs> so it's for a kid, definitely. Damn. You want to be Michael Jackson? That's a Michael Jackson fedora, and then a cowgirl hat. So yeah, yeah this was that Party City, guys. Up too. Yeah, the f um, boa feather boa does. I could fit this <laughs> No, I can't. <laughs> and these cups over here both of them are fine but the extra straw came from one that was broken so i was like we can <laughs> extra. yeah so we'll keep that one as an extra just in case so those are it's a girl tags somebody stole the other half apparently so they tossed it <laughs> all right guys i'll show you the rest it's a fan oops it looks like it came from those other ones that we found that one time yeah, it didn't though. This was Party City. <laughs> okay, and these are items that we found at a guitar shop. So, found the amp. We're not sure if it works or not. We still have to test it. Um, these little wire connectors, and then this box that has brand new drum pieces in it. At least that's what it says. Drum. Let's see. I don't know. Drums. We'll figure it out. Yeah. There's these 
and these pieces. Oops, I'm dropping them off. So we're not. We don't know nothing about instruments. And if you guys know, just let us know. Yeah. If you guys know what it is, please let us know in the comments because we have no idea. So yeah, that is what we found at a local guitar shop. We got more stuff we'll show you guys here in a second. Alright guys, and here is what we found at a sport goods store. Um, that Those three are used, but I mean for somebody that needs shoes or cleats or rain boots, they can use them. So those easily could have been donated instead of thrown away. Um, this one here, uh, they did cut them. But I kept the packaging, the back of the package, so that I could order a new strap. And then obviously a new piece for this, because they did cut this too. But this comes off, so I can just order a new one. Hopefully it doesn't cost more than what it should be worth. Otherwise I'll just get rid of it. And then these, my husband was so excited when he dumped in, jumped in the dumpster and found them. Because he found them like this. <laughs> Employees have cruel sense of humors because they cut the other side on each one so check everything thoroughly guys before you grab them and same with these he was super excited because they're roller skates uncut nice perfect right and then we take a look at this folded up receipt which says two left skates <laughs> so that is why they were returned because you can't skate with two lefts <laughs> we did put them on <laughs> we did put them on and uh, roll around in them it was not easy guys but it was funny alright guys I'll show you the rest of what we found now too so this is stuff that we found at Harbor Freight. Um, these are returned items. <laughs> so we don't know if there's anything wrong with them. We haven't tested them out yet. We've only brought them home and waiting it out. So this is brand new. It actually wasn't even opened. These had a case, but the case was broken, so we left it behind. And this was missing the other piece. And then this is all there. We just haven't tested it. So this was Harbor Freight, guys. Okay, so this is the rest of the stuff that we had found. Um, it's a mix of different dumpsters. So these um, wooden boxes we got from a, um, a bar, behind a bar, <laughs> which is where the Guinness came from also. Uh, just kidding. These items here came from personal dumpings in the dumpster, so um, the mic works well. We seem to find a with... lot of personal dumpings out here. <laughs> yeah, people dump personal stuff like they couldn't just go and donate it. It was kind of dumb. Since he's still full, that I want to see if it works because we have a fish tank. Well, my parents have a fish tank. And um, this we're going to hook up and see if it works. All the Hot Wheels are already claimed by my children. <laughs> that is a Barbie trash can, which is <laughs> totally cool. <laughs> Seriously, though. I mean, what does Barbie have to throw away? It rolls in Ken. <laughs> she Ken. has to throw away Ken. <laughs> yarn. Once again, <laughs> we found yarn. I don't know why. We keep finding yarn. Um, The water bottle. This is a full set. Um, It was never opened. It's just damaged from the rain that we had. And it got dirty, so we're just going to wash those up. These are from Verizon. iPhone case. These are from the new um, S9 when it launched. You put your cards up inside of here. And then there's a sticky thing on the back that you can attach it to your phone with. Nobody wants to do that. I'm just being honest here. I have the Note 8, and I would not put that on my phone, like, at all. So, Samsung, terrible idea. And then these, anybody with a Samsung Galaxy, I believe it's only Galaxies, you can hover over this and it launches 
the information about your phone or support. So this is from World Market. Hold on, I totally skipped this. This was from Ulta. It is obviously a pricing gun, but it still works. So we're going to keep that. <laughs> this is from World Market. It just needs a little bit of glue, wood glue, and it goes back to normal. That was a $10 box that they just threw away because it just got a little damage. And then the little room diffuser. Brand new toilet seat. <laughs> it's time to take your seat. It's brand new in the box. Totally sealed. <laughs> it's time to take a shit. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what we found. That's the last little bit of it, guys. Oh, and then this here is a wine bucket. Wine ice bucket. So, that was part of that little dumping right there. Alright, guys. That is all that we have found. Thank you for watching. So, this is everything that we got the other day. Um, this box is completely full of these gummy bears. They don't have an expiration date on them anywhere. Um, we couldn't even find one on the inside package, so we're not sure. Maybe they just don't expire. I don't know. But yeah, we got all those. A couple infinity scarves, regular scarves, headbands, excuse my cat, tights, women's tights, tube top, little girl's pants, little boy's shirt, tights for a little girl, little girl's pants, socks, more tights, head, um, beanies, uh, boys, that's a pajama set. Still new tags. These are all shirts. Little pants. And then these are underwears. All brand new underwear. So those are going to be donated. But these are shorts and such. So that is what we found at a local dollar store. And this is all stuff that we found at a local thrift store. So I'm just going to show you guys. Collar. Leash. Mother leash. Shoes, napkin rings, and then a bunch of glassware. This cactus is broken, but I'm going to try and paint it and kind of make the chip blend in because that's cute. Brand new towels. Um, I think there's two of them. OPI nail polish. So, this is all that we found. This is a picture frame. I'm going to refurbish. And then shoes. Alright, these are the pet store finds. We had two bags of cat food, but um, we'll share a video clip with you guys at the end of what we did with it. And this is a dog outfit, brand new. They didn't cut it or anything. And that is an inflatable ring the cone of shame kind of ring so all right and that's it for that one all right and these are dollar tree finds those are star wars straws fizz gig and these are um silly string guns you just pop the can inside of that little blue part and pull the trigger in and it'll shoot the silly string all over the place we found so many of those Okay, and this is the last bit of stuff that we had found the other day. It's a mix of stores, so. These jackets were found at a, like a renovation store, as weird as that is. But they're like brand new sweaters. Um, these were part of that thrift store. I forgot to put them in there. This golf bag set is all from um, Personal Dumpings. So we grabbed that because I have a friend who's a major golf guy. Kitty litter from PetSmart. Rite Aid. They expire at the end of the month. These were from that reno store. And Ulta. I have another video that I'm going to post that shows other Ulta finds that we found. So these were some more. 
So that is everything that we found. Um, I'll be posting another video because we had done another dive. Just haven't gotten around to posting the video yet. But I'll be sure to post that up for you guys, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Guys, okay. So I'm going to show you a few things that I found at Burlington. Um, this is one of those bathroom over the toilet shelves. I'm going to put it together here in a few minutes to see if all the pieces are there. I'm pretty sure they are. And I'm kind of hoping they are. But I'll set it up for you guys and let you know. And then we found this shirt. They did not cut it up or anything. It was really nice. The only thing that was wrong with it was that piece is hanging off. But tags were still attached and everything. So it's kind of not smart on their end. Somebody could have easily taken it back and just said that it was broken after they bought it or before they bought it. So, but I don't do that, guys. I promise. And here's another one. It's a dress. And it's, if I can get it all in the picture, it's a cute little. It's a, it's a high low dress. So, it's very cute. I'm not sure why they threw that one away. And then this was wrapped up inside of it, so I don't know where the shirt is for this one. So that was an accidental grab. And this meat clever. Titanium meat clever. So, three ninety nine retail. And then these are two matching pairs that I did find. These two. And then these were a bunch of random. And I'm just, I like to repurpose items. So, I'll find new uses for these. And I, I found these heels also. So, I think those were returned. And then repurposing is what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish breaking off the sharp pieces at the bottom. And then I am going to use this in a flower pot outside. So, I'm going to probably use it for succulents or something. Stick it inside of a larger pot over a layer of plants at the bottom. And then stick this in the middle and put like succulents or something inside what are you doing succulents inside of it and then we found this umbrella it does work it does have a little damage but it works if i can get it open there you go nothing wrong with it as far as the top piece but this here is bent so, that's the damage on there. Oops, I just bent it some more. Lovely. Then, there is this um, bath mat. And three loofahs. That is what I found at Bed Bath & Beyond. And, I mean, uh, sorry, uh, Burlington. And then I have some things in here that I'm going to show you guys that I found at a dollar store. So, give me one second to set it up. Okay, so these are items that I found at a dollar store. That's not focusing. There you go. Um, this basket, the ball. These three balls. Which Fizzcake is entertained by. Um, these two little bowls. Well, I guess we found a use for those balls already. Um, this, if I can move him out of the way, is, um, an unwritten in little sketchbook. A bath picture, I realized the glass is broken out of that. A party bowl, it's not cracked or anything, I don't know, not that I noticed. Two towels, and little baby pants. Oh, and then this here little samurai sword so 
party bags. And these little containers. I love these little things. I have so many of these. I use them for spices or any jewelry, things like that. Convenient little containers. But yeah, guys. Oh, and then this guy. He found. He's got a little damage to his leg, but he found this little pinata. This was at a different dollar store. It was the 99 cent only store that we found this one at. So he was $4.99, but because of his leg. Oh, and this leg. This leg needs to be fixed too. So, but two small fixes. I used to make pinatas, so that'll be easy fix. But yeah, guys, that's what I found. I only got lucky at two stores last night, so that is what I found that I'd share with you guys. Thanks for watching.